Salutations everyone, my name is Fucat, and welcome back to the Resident Evil 3 Remake. In the last part, we had our first boss battle with Nemesis, and we also entered into Carlos' scenario, which I played rather temerariously. So I'm going to be much more cautious as I'm playing through Jill, even though she has more benefits, but there could be a superfluous amount of zombies for her too, we never know. So I'm just going to use certain weapons as necessary as possible. So we got mine rounds which is going to be a thing that I'm going to keep. UBCS. New weaponry notice. Good news, Limp Ducks! I got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called Mine Rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D, and they will light your fires even harder than the lover you left back home. So, what's with the UBCS and the whole tough guy act? Either way, they have some pretty dark humor that I like. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. Alright, let's go take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or the ground, and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically, just toss them in the enemy's path, and you got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when taking on those giant freaks, so get out there and fight dirty. Okay, so, an excessive amount of zombies and apparently giant freaks. Whatever those things could be. So I gotta be careful for those and use these mine rounds as absolutely as necessary. When we come across both those things, or one of them, but right now, we got the handgun, so this should be sufficient. Zombie over here. Yep, you're alive, for sure. Uh, ha, 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 ha. See you from a distance. They're all alive. It's alive, oh no. They're alive, oh no. Oh my gosh, go down. Okay, I'm just gonna walk over. Before they get back up, I'm just gonna freaking bat moose. Anyone else? Oh, my favorite boy! <laughs> Rawr! Sounds like Rockstar Doggy. When I don't pet her. <laughs> still alive. I can't stay here. Oh, that's the zombies. Escape the creature. You mean the zombies? I just did that. Okay. Well, um, what's this? Clock Tower brochure. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon and residents consider it an emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the 20th century and the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St. Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on the entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown, but in the 1990s the Umbrella Corporation worked in the league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area. This time, with proper preservation, efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today the sound of its heavy tolling bells can be once heard within Raccoon City. So I gotta say, well, first off, this is a really nice looking place. It kind of reminisces to sort of ATO when I went to AWA, that anime convention. Or in some way, it could reminisce to an NYC, too. Can't quite put my finger on what. So we got the knife, so we can open up this. Red herb. That's a disappointment, because I don't know where a green herb is, still. I'm glad I saw that. Okay. So now we're going up this. That's a really nice name for a school, by the way. St. Michael's. I went to a place called West End, and all they have is, like, nefarious teachers and students. I hate them all. <laughs> I 
Nemesis has too much of that super mega meat supreme spice. Bitch can't even swim. <laughs> Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? It's back! Chill. Chill, he does have a super form. Man, that spicy Mega Meat Supreme got to him. Wonder how much it costs. It's probably infuriated by that. 30 bucks for that sort of pizza. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna stop with the pizza jokes. Now, I'm gonna keep them rolling. I'm gonna keep them alive. I'll keep them alive as long as Resident Evil 3 is still around. Alright, so what's up? This is when the mine rounds are absolutely necessary. Oh no! He's a big boy, so I'm gonna have to dodge a lot, don't I? Oh uh, no! No! What? Oh, that's forgiving. What do I look like? Danger! Okay, let's go ahead and use this. Definitely necessary now. <laughs> yep, open up your chest. I dare you. Those look really cool when he, like, slashes at you. I don't know how deadly this is. I'll give it a shot. Oh, that's really cool. So it actually sticks to him like a landmine. Hmm. Now's the perfect time to do this, huh? Don't worry, I got him. Come right around. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh, he went up there. So that's why I couldn't see him earlier. Yep, nice try. Oh, what's this? Oh, mine rounds. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and more over here. Come on. Get to him. That's perfect. I was getting rather annoyed by this. Alright, where is he gonna go? You're gonna climb up there? Alright, I'll blow him up right around here, maybe. He's gonna go to that area. What? He completely skipped it. Yeah, you freak. <laughs> Take that. Does he get more damage if he's all the way up there? I wonder. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Alright. Taking him down now. Come on. More flame rounds. There we go. Man, that took forever. Definitely had to do a lot of jump cuts there. That was a long boss battle. Rather annoying, too. Alright, let's see if there's anything else that I need to pick up. Oh no, what happened here? All the ice cream's gonna melt. Oh no, here's the ice cream. We got Creamy Pop, Double Day, Cool Combo. Who is this lady? What do we have here? Is he gonna come back alive? I'm gonna be prepared for it then. I knew it! Oh. Of course, quick thinking. Is that a needle? 
Oh, it's Nikolai. Or Eminem. You've done me a big favor. Yes. Oh no. She got food poisoned from the Mega Meat Supreme. Wonder what's gonna happen in the end of Russian Eminem. Jill! Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. Alright, I'll meet you there. It's all Brad Vickers' fault. He gave me that Mega Meat Supreme and it had food poisoning. You hang in there, Super Cop. I got you. Thank you, Carlos. You're the man. Wait, so we have to play as him now again, right? Cause he, he's currently active at the moment. I mean, there's Tyrell, but I, I don't know if I'm gonna play as him. Oh boy. Fight it, Jill. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna get you the vaccine. Oh man. Alright, so for right now, I'm just gonna take a little bit of a break because I really don't feel like playing as Carlos again. I did not expect to play him again so quickly, but uh, here we are. We're gonna be going through the hospital, I guess. And I bet that's gonna be a pain in the butt, considering that playing as him last time, too much. It was just too much. Yet, surprisingly, he's all healed up. Alright, so a bit of a break and then I'll be back. Alright, I'm back, and it's actually the next day right now, but I believe that I am ready to take on the ample amount of zombies that possibly emanate from this hospital. So we're gonna go ahead and get whatever this is, assault rifle ammo. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Alright, let's go ahead and get this. Try to get as much supplies as possible before we go in. And, uh, I don't see anything else. So I think we're pretty much clear. We've got crutches, that could be considered a weapon. Or a wheelchair. By the way, let's go ahead and go in now. Ugh! <laughs> Alright. Zombies. I knew it. You're telling me, Carlos. Oh man, we need Jill for that. We're probably gonna play as Jill later on then. That has to be a possibility. What is this? Ooh, a supply case. But how am I gonna get over there? Is there like a door around? No, there isn't. Unless... Can I break through? No, there's like a trash can over there. Hmm... Ooh. Cool, cool, cool. Now what else? Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Bard. Well, first, let me check this out. Nurse Journal, September 25th. Every day, they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium, so we have to put them in straitjackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting into that steams. And the director had ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. But what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary team. They've been told it's special handling to prevent illness from spreading, but I'm not sure why I, not sure why I don't buy it. So Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why, where, what is going on? I am just as flunks as you. So what's going on over here? Uh, want the car? I could throw that away. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Welcome to the 21st century, even oh. though this is the 20th century. Seems like Nathaniel is way ahead of people's time. Okay. 
So we got a green herb, so I can go ahead and mix that up right now. Combine. Cool. And ooh! Oh no! Alright, I'm out of here. No! <laughs> Alright. Bye bye. Let's go go this way then. Oh, I can't go through here. Hmm. Going to go the other way then. We coming? I guess not. Okay, that's fine. You dead. Don't have to worry about him. His head is completely gone. Can you imagine a zombie biting you without a head? What do we have here? It's like cakes, melon bread. Can I have some of that? It's probably infected. I have some additives known as T virus. I'm just gonna leave him be. Alright, so let's bust this open. Hmm. I'm gonna go this way first. Left is always the safest way. Oh, it's a save area. Nurse Journal, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. Possible infection? Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. <laughs> it's like that one clickbait title. Big mistake. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients, who disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We got to contain this chaos. All right, let's get this gravy train rolling. Oh, we got the map. Thank you. I'll go in here next. Hmm. This looks rather foreboding. There was a save room. I already saved, so... I'm going to assume everyone is dead here? If they're not, then that's totally fine. If we game over, we game over. Nurse Journal, September 29th. We tried. I swear to God we did. But there's nothing else that we could have done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who are infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming. None of us will go out there, because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we'd abandoned our patience. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 9 p.m., we heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant, and all we're left now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We we're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm so sorry, I failed you. Something's coming. Help, mmm. Hmm. Pretty dark story, huh? Well, they're gonna have to agree with what Nikolai said then. Only care for yourself. Memos from administration. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you, administration, September 20th. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by the administration at the end of your ship to borrow it. Okay, so we have to go look for that in the courtyard. That's where the supply case is, right? Okay, no big deal. I'll go ahead and just try to get there somehow. Can I just, like, shoot the windows open? Why hasn't anyone tried that? I could go through there. Will it allow me? Oh, it will. Okay, I'll check all those other rooms later. Right now, we're gonna see if the key is over here. In which, that might be it. It is. Cool. So now we can go into that room. There's also a green herb, so I'll take that. <laughs> He's alive. Alright, you stay down for a bit. Wait, someone lifting weights here? Dude, they are. Who's been lifting weights out here? Is it you, Nathaniel Bard? Alright, so what do we have in this room? So I just opened up that room that was locked earlier. Is 
there a revelation about that? I wonder. Resident Evil 4. I've never played Resident Evil 4 before, so I don't know where that's going to be about. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have to drop something. Let's go ahead and drop Brad Vicker's card. That's pretty much unnecessary now. Alright, so we're good to go. Whew! It will not let me do that at time. Liquor? Oh, that's not a liquor. What is this thing? I hope it's not worse than a liquor. Oh no. Go back. Yeah. Take that. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to deal with a lot of those now, huh? Oh. Such awful timing. I'm gonna go ahead and save before we continue. <laughs> I love when he does that, though. Another note. Note about the tape recording. Dakota, I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walk towards the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. The kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an ass hark and will go get his day in court. Stay brave and stay strong. A friend. So, I accidentally said the bad word. Why well, I meant to say Oris Hole. Oh well. Doesn't matter. What's in here, actually? Dead person. She's alive, isn't she? Yep. You stay down. Okay. So, we got more green herb, which is great. What are they eating out here? They got some of that fake corn. Some fake chicken breasts. Oh yeah, that stuff is really fake. Ooh, grenade. Oh, that's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just combine this. Take that. And I'm gonna assume that you're dead, so I'm not gonna touch you by any means. <laughs> Heck no. We're gonna have to deal with two of those things. Oh man, I am not ready for that. Look at all the ammo that I have. It's definitely not gonna be enough to kill those things. Plus, there's probably zombies in here. I freaking knew it. Oh boy. Oh boy. <sighs> I should just use the knife. Way safer to do that. I think before I continue, I'm gonna go ahead and save. I know this goes around the circle. Because I couldn't go through here before. Alright, here we go. Alright, come back out here. I dare ya. You're gonna try to bust open that door, huh? Are they even trying? Do I have to open it for you? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm almost out of ammo here. Man, I don't know what else. Oh, I could throw in the grenade launcher. Oh, you lucky ducks. Where'd he go? Alright, so he's down. But I'm out of ammo now, so this is, uh, this is bad. Alright, so what am I coming in here for? Oh no, oh no, go away. Uh, we're getting this? Okay. So I'll go ahead and put that in my inventory, and I am out. I am out. Oh, no, no, thank you, boy. <laughs> I don't care. I'm leaving. Okay, we're freaking out of this place. Man, no ammo left. This is bad news. <laughs> okay. Let's do that real quick. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in here real quick. So we're gonna use that. I'm going in, I'm going in. Oh, no, thank you. What does this place have? Handgun ammo? I mean, it's no frills. I am so ready for this right now. There is an ample amount of zombies out there. <laughs> oh my gosh! Ooh, that was way too much to deal with. All right, perfect. It 
It's easy now. Way easy. <sighs> oh, that did not do anything. Oh, tape player. And I have no room for it. All right, here we go. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Yes, sir. I bet you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now, fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. Dude, Nathaniel was such a jerk. Wow. What a douche. Yeah, you said it, Carlos. Oh my gosh. He is a prime example of awful human beings. Tyrell, Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit, and the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? I, uh, I bet the nurse got him, huh? Boy, well deserved it. So what do we have here? Banquet invitation. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and the other distinguished members of our community. And that is the address. We will honor you if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester. Nay, I'll be introducing the bill for the new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. Wait, why does that matter that he's a brunette guy? It's like he's into, um, brunettes, I guess? Better that or, uh, Chief Irons is a bit of a homo, and he likes brunette guys. I don't know. <laughs> okay, anywho, here's a computer. Email from Nathaniel Bard. Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail, and it's not for my family, not for my ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm not. I'm using it to save you. I know better than anyone that you're future of the United States, but if you want the goods, Greg, you have got to get me the heck out of here now, without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you got clout. See if someone can get the rescue team here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Which should sound pretty chisty. After parties wouldn't be into. Hurry, my time is running out. Nate. This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard. September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray, by making this recording and bringing the truth to light, that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... Hmm. My God, she knew all along. And she trusted me anyway. Fuck!
I guess he said the magic word. He said the F word and it opened this. And here's the vaccine. Nice. Alright, Jill. Hang tight. On the way, Jill. No See, problemo. I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. Yeah, we'll see about that, Tyrell. Pretty sure you'll make it. For the story. No, thank you. <laughs> How about I use a hand grenade? Yeah, I think that'd be safe. That's if he actually goes to it, though. I don't know where he is. Did he go through this door? Just disappeared. Wow. This makes me super paranoid right now. Oh. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Alright, well he's done for. Hand grenades. Best thing in the market. Alright, so, time to get you the vaccine. It will. You guys are the main characters, it has to work. <laughs> Jeez. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention, all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Oh, no. Oh, Tyrell, you had to bring them all here. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Shoot. I'm gonna go ahead and save here real quick before I go out there. Alright, I think I'm set and ready to go. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Um... How did... How did Tyro bring on all of these zombies? How come Jill didn't have to deal with this sort of predicament? Now the fun shit begins. Well, at least we have these. So I can slow them down a bit. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Alright. No. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh man. No, stop that. Really? The reload's like really ticking me off right now. What was that? Did they throw a grenade at me? No, 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 no. Come on. These sort of challenges, I don't grow fond of. I'm at Kosh, I'll just go ahead and use this real quick. Okay, what else? Can I get some ammo over here? Yes, thank you. That helps tremendously. Go ahead and just stick with the handgun. I hate that it does not affect them when they're on the ground like that. Oh man. 
Yeah, I'm not paying too much attention because I'm freaking dealing with all these other zombies. Ah. Uh. Okay, you down? What now? Hang on. Gotta get rid of all these guys first. They're taking over. What's that? Ah! Of course you'd be in addition. A freaking chorus. Okay. Time to heal. Time to heal. Hang on. I'm, I'm trying to get rid of them as quick as I can. But now I have to deal with one, one of these guys. Who are these things? Okay. Heal up. Heal up. Heal up. Shoot! Okay, breaker, is it in here? Okay, cool, cool, cool. No, go away. And use this real quick. No, stop! Oh my gosh, you guys are annoying. Okay, I might caution. That's fine, I still have some health on me. Now I gotta get rid of this thing. Ah, hit it. Thank you. But that wasn't enough, though. Ooh, okay. Ah. Almost out of ammo here. Not shaky, dude. Yeah, give me all that. Oh. Don't mind if I do with that. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead and slow him down real quick. Shoot that. Really? I have to deal with this guy again? Okay. Oh, I'm at caution again. Alright, I'm fine. Yet again. Shoot this. Fight this! Okay, sorry. This guy again? Ah, this is not cool. Did I just die? No, I'm still good. I'm still good. Wow, I'm terrible at this. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Reload. Yep, sure do. Oh man. I don't have to deal with all of this now, right? Ah, uh, place the detonator? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold them out until then. For 30 seconds? That's like an eternity. <laughs> Do I just have to survive? Do I have to kill them all? I don't know. Oh my gosh. What a rough house. I'm just caution. I'll be fine. I got a grenade. That's a good sign. Cool. Could be safe until then. We're good. We're freaking good. Carlos has the worst when it comes to missions. That's for dang sure. Carlos, you all right? 
not even close. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. Thank goodness. Vaccine's a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bowsy motherfucker. Hmm. Now what's next? Jill's waking up. You're okay. Oh no, Tyro's gone. Hmm. Jill. Oh. Oh, thank God you're okay. I've got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. It's a dream. Or a nightmare. Yes. It's the only way. All right. Well, that Where happened. Am I? What's going on? Oh. Attention, all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate it can't now. be. This is not a test. Alright, so we're playing this shill again, right? Obviously. Leave the sick room. Okay, so considering what the emergency system has said, only an hour left, so that means that we're coming close to the conclusion of this game so i'm gonna go ahead and just save real quick and uh we'll just end the gameplay from here so i hope you all enjoyed resident evil 3 remake still have maybe one more part left so we'll see if the next part is the finale and uh so far carlos was actually fun to play this time the last video mm -mm. <laughs> so yeah i was pretty cool with that mission all right i'll see you all in the next video stay awesome kitty savers